Right, we're taking a look at the Valkyrie today. This is the new dropship from Anvil Aerospace. We'll start with the basic specs of the ship and go from there. It's 38 meters in length, 28 meters in width, and 9.5 meters in height. It has an operating crew of 5, but as this is a dropship, it does seat an additional 20 troops for battlefield deployment, which we'll be able to see once we step inside. In terms of weaponry, this ship does boast an impressive arsenal, allowing it to be both offensive and defensive when the situation calls for it. It's got two man turrets on the top and bottom of the ship, two remote turrets on its wings, two forward facing guns under the cockpit and lastly it's got door guns on both sides which again we'll take a look at once we're inside. Primary access to the ship is from the rear, as you can see it has a wide ramp that drops down allowing for rapid deployment of troops and any vehicle on board at the time. In terms of internal specs, this ship has medium components across the board, so medium radar, medium power plant, medium coolers, etc. Here we have ladder access to the upper crew deck. Here is the side door which opens up and allows you to provide suppressive fire from the door guns. Same goes for the other side. Moving on ahead we have the deployment seats, 10 this side and another 10 next door. Carrying on to the front this is where you access the front underside turret. We have controls here for the stopper that raises up when you want to load on vehicles. It just ensures that you leave enough room for the crew and troops to operate. Let's move on to the upper deck. Here we have access to the top side turret. Also note with both the man turrets they do rotate 360 degrees. And as you can also see, here's where the bunks are for the five crew, along with their shower and toilet facilities. These seats here control the mounted guns on the wings. 
I do love remote turrets because it allows you to deliver raw firepower whilst being protected from a station like this. And lastly, up ahead, we have the self-contained cockpit, which is really good because if the pilot did ever catch a torpedo to the face, the crew won't have to worry about being decompressed all of a sudden. Those sealed doors will allow extra time for the, the crew just to get an EVA suit on and go from there. Visibility overall is pretty good in this ship. It's also got this lower window down here which just helps the pilot assess the terrain below. And this completes our tour of the Anvil Valkyrie. Thanks for watching.